so this generator was uh, one that I did a compression test on. It needs a minimum of 65 PSI. This one only had 30. So I called for a mechanic to come look at it because I don't like working on the engine side. But no mechanic ever came. So before it got condemned, I come back and I checked the engine myself. Pulled the, uh, the valve cover off and uh, apparently the jam nut had tightened down everything. There was no clearance and it even uh, damaged the uh, top of the, uh, what they call it, like, valve adjustment bolt. So I tried to get one. They are no longer available. So I hillbilly adjusted it, which isn't good. I just wanted to see if this would run. Now that I know it does run, I'm going to go ahead and do everything I can to find somewhere. Somebody had one of these go bad, and I might be able to get the part out of it. So... And who knows, this might run for a week, a day, whatever. Might last like this for a long time. It does sound a little different running, but it's running. I want to make sure that uh, it's putting out the right voltage. So I can check that here, I hope. And this I found unique. This is the first point of disconnect right here, 100 amps. And then this here is actually if you find breakers in them, a whole bunch, uh, it's an essential circuits transfer switch, not a whole house transfer switch. So they're using it as a whole house transfer switch, and it is rated at 100 amps. But going out of the house, I have 125. So uh, the breaker that will protect this will be that one over there. The other thing is, is the bonding and grounding goes in there under the meter. That's the first point of disconnect. And then here, he's got four wires coming in, which is right. And he's got that big one there going to a looks like it's neutral bar because the neutral comes off. I'd say this is the ground bar and it looks like it's uh, usually I take the screw out so it can't be bonded a second time. That looks like it's bonded and that looks like ground there because it's green and that braided cable that's a three conductor not a four conductor going to the house. So on the ground, there will be a current coming back to this panel. And to me, that's uh, incorrect. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. But, uh, ooh. Now, I wanna see if I can set this and operate it. This is, you only have to set for volts. If it's DC, it'll just tell you DC. If it's AC, it'll tell you. And now how am I gonna do this with two hands? So the generator should be at right there. And that right there. And the voltage coming out of the generator is good, so. It's not only running now, it's running at the right RPM and it's running at the right voltage, if it stays that way. 
I uh, I should look in here, see if it, he bonded it in here. What's that for a screw? Oh. oh. It's a good thing I brought my multi-pass. Yeah, watch me lose this and not be able to put this back together. So I'll set that over there, set that down there, take this out of there. So what do they got? That black one coming off there, that's the grounding. And that's the neutral. And they are separate in here. And they should be. That braided cable should be over on the neutral. Because as it stands, he's only got two hots and a neutral. But I didn't put it in. Hey. Anyway, figured that might be interested to somebody. I'm looking for an inspection sticker. Usually they write inspected by. I don't see one. So I'd say somebody here. I don't know, the clip looks good. I was thinking they pulled the meter and put it in without ever being inspected. Anyways, generator's running. That's all I care about. It's the first one that's uh, ever held me up for such a long time. And this too is waiting for parts. <laughs>